Marraqueta, the Spanish word for Marrakech, which just happens to be a city in Morocco, Africa. Who would have thought? Another beautiful day here in Chile. It's a little cool out this morning, but the sun is coming up and it's looking like a beautiful day. And I've got coffee, so you can't go wrong any day with coffee. And I've got my little dog with me from the bomberos, from the firemen. So, let's go to school. My first class is over, and typically what that means here in Chile, as far as the teacher goes, and any other profession, is 10 o'clock rolls around and it's time to eat breakfast. But breakfast typically consists of this one thing, typically. Bread. Every single breakfast that I've ever been a part of here in Chile, especially in the campo, consists of this bread. And I have a confession to make. Yes, I ate too many sopa y pia pasadas. And no, I don't feel any shame in that. Back to my actual confession now. My actual confession is that when I first came here to Chile, I had a serious addiction. And it wasn't just with one particular kind. My addiction is bread. And I think that addiction was so strong here in Chile because I wasn't used to that fresh bread all the time. Every morning, fresh bread. Every afternoon, fresh bread. Every once, fresh bread. It was so good to me. And there are so many different kinds of bread to try. I was so addicted to the bread here in Chile, it wasn't even funny. But I know that I'm not the only one who loves bread here in Chile. There are tons of videos about people going back to the States or to another country and trying to make this bread for themselves. The thing is, here in Chile, this bread is everywhere and it's home baked, just so good and fresh every day. And there's one particular bread that I like the most, and it's called the marraqueta bread. Yo, yo, yo quiero marraqueta. And this bread has a little bit of a story. It goes back to the 1800s when apparently there was a family called Marraqueta. And this family came to Chile from France and started to make this bread. Dicen que es descendiente directa de la baguette francesa. Diablo con la baguette. Yo me quedo con mi mamá. But I feel like in Chile, when you see this sign, I pan, that is kind of like a Krispy Kreme sign in the United States. It means there's bread, fresh and ready and delicious. Come into one of these shops, this is our Walmart, and you can always find this fresh bread. Just take a look at all these options. There's so many, I don't even know how to choose. I love bread, I love bread. I eat it every day, that's why I'm here to say I love bread, I love bread. This is the bread that I'm used to in the United States. A loaf that's been sitting here on the shelf for maybe a week, maybe two weeks, I have no idea. Fully processed, and they say it's better for you, but the other stuff over there, so much more tasty. And it's so fresh, and it smells so good. This stuff, it's got nothing. The last thing I'll say about bread for today is that when you arrive here in Chile, you're going to notice that it is everywhere. At every corner store, at your local Walmart, at the restaurants that you eat for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, you're probably going to have some sort of bread. And I love it. Another fun fact is that Chile consumes 200 pounds of bread per person per year. Bet you didn't know that. Yum, 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 yo. Got a game, my but what's your favorite kind of bread? Mine just happens to be this one. 
It's so good with a little avocado on it. But there are tons of different kinds and different things that you can put on your bread. Leave it in the comment section below what your favorite type of Chilean bread is. Oh, they're all so good. Mm. But my shout out for today is for Cristobal. Cristobal, thank you for watching my videos. Much appreciated. And next time you're in Linares, we will meet up for sure. But I hope you enjoyed the video for today. And if you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. Check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All the links are right below. And we'll see you guys next time for another adventure. But for now, have a style. This party needs a kick. Let's get some breadsticks. In the club or on the street. Bread's all I want to eat. B-R-E-A-D. I love bread and bread loves me. B-R-E-A-D. I love bread and bread loves me.